Hey everybody, welcome back for another What Were They Thinking? Today we've got a video that comes to us from a Senate hearing on the new tax bill. And it shows us a confrontation between Senators, I believe it's Orrin Hatch and Sherrod Brown. So let's watch it and then when we come back we're going to talk about what Orrin Hatch was actually thinking. A dozen years ago, when you did the tax holiday here, um, all the, co the corporations had all this money, and of course they were going to be eager to give it out to work. Well, actually, they didn't give it out to workers. They did stock buy buybacks. They did executive compensation. They paid out in yeah, dividends. Right. Then somebody cited Britain. Great Britain has done a series of tax cuts, okay. uh, and their wages were flat, too. So this is really wishful thinking. But I do know that the TV ads that are going to be run against the five most important senators on this committee, the TV ads that the independent groups will run, will, of course, say Senator McCaskill and Senator Casey and Senator Stabenow and Senator Nelson are voting against a $4,000 raise that this tax cut is going to bestow on them. We know it's coming. We know you'll have way more money to promote that than we will have to defend it, but that's why the Wyden Amendment is so important. And I, I just think it would be nice just tonight, before we go home, to just acknowledge, well, this tax cut really is not for the middle class, it's for the rich. And that whole thing about higher wages, well, it's a good selling point, but we know companies don't just give away higher wages. They just don't give away higher wages just because they have more money. Corporations are sitting on a lot of money now. They're sitting on a lot of profits now. I don't see wages going up. So just spare us the Spare us the bank shots, spare us the, let's, let's the sarcasm vote. and the let's satire, vote. and I'm let's gonna move. I'm going to spare it, but I'm going to just say to you that uh, I come from the poor people, and I've been here working my whole stinking career for people who don't have a chance. And I really resent anybody saying that I'm just doing this for the rich. Give me a break. I think you guys overplay that all the time, and it gets old. And well, frankly, you ought, to, you ought to quit it. Mr. Chairman, the public well, believes it. Just, I'm not through. Okay. I get kind of sick and tired of it. Mm -hmm. uh, true, it's a nice political play. Well, Mr. But Chairman, it's not true. with all due respect, I get sick and tired of the richest people Regular in the order, country, Mr. Chairman. Getting richer and Regular richer order. And richer. order. Regular order. Regular order. We do a tax cut Regular order. In the middle class wait a minute. Wait a minute. Regular order. And over and over wait, again. Wait How many second. times do we do this before we learn this? Listen. I've honored you by allowing you to spout off here. And what you said was not right. That's all I'm saying. I come from the lower middle class originally. We didn't have anything. So don't spew that stuff on me. I get a little tired of that crap. And let me just say something. If you didn't, if we work together, we could pull this country out of every, every mess it's in. And we could do a lot of the things that you're talking about too. And I think I've got a reputation of having worked together with let's, Democrats. Let's start with Chip. I'm not starting with Chip. I did it. I've done it for years. I've got more bills. Start passed. with Chip today. I got more bills passed than everybody on this committee put together. And they've been passed for the benefit of people in this country. Now, all I can say is I like you personally very much, but I'm telling you, this bull crap that you guys throw out here really gets old after a while. To do it right at the end of this was just not right. Okay, now that you've seen that, I want to show you what Orrin Hatch was actually thinking. Spare us the, spare us the bank shots, spare us the, let's, let's the sarcasm vote. and the let's satire, vote. and I'm let's gonna spare it, let's but vote. I'm going to just say to you. <laughs> you accurately pointed out that I'm serving the rich and not the middle class. <laughs> I've been, I come from the poor people. I come from the lower middle class originally. Whoa, camel, whoa, whoa. Of the thing, it's the money. The trouble you can get into just because you want five thousand bucks. 
I may be a craven little coward, but I'm a greedy craven little coward. Consequences, consequences. As long as I'm rich, I'm a greedy slob. And I've never been so humiliated in all my life. Look, Mac, just what's going on around here? I hate you. Mwahaha. Yes, we hate humanity. Mwahaha. We've tried for so long. I'm a turtle. We've tried for so long to try to get it so that we got real bomb care. We couldn't do it. Oh. I make biscuits. They have fat in them. Beep, 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 be